So guys, what do you want to do today? Uh, I don't know, dude. I'm bored. Well, I do have $500 and I don't know what to spend it on. You don't know what to spend it on? On PlayStation 5? Yeah, they're out right now, dude. Yeah, you can play Spider-Man. Explore a new world. You have to get a PlayStation 5 right now, Cody. I don't know. I was thinking about buying a new telescope. What was that for, Junior? A uh, telescope? A uh, frickin' telescope? Oh my god, he's oozing nerd right now. You're the biggest, fattest, ugliest nerd I've ever seen if you buy a telescope with that money. But I could, I could explore new worlds with my telescope. What are you gonna see with a dumb telescope? Well, I could look at planets, like, I could look at Uranus. And then I could get the telescope. <laughs> Cody, if you get a PlayStation 5, I can play it. Joseph, I can play it. I can play it some more. I could play it. I, I could play it again. Junior, it just sounds like you want me to get a PS5 so you can play it. Well, of course, but we would all play it, especially me. And I know Santa Claus would get me one for Christmas, but I don't want to wait that long. I don't want elf juice all over my PlayStation 5. So just go buy it, please. But Junior, if I get a telescope, we can all look through it. And what are we going to see? Your big mom's fat, hairy butt? Wait. I don't want to look at your big mom's hairy butt, Cody. Like, like she can stand on the other side of the country and I can see it with my naked eye how, how fat she is because she's so fat. Like she's fat, right, Joseph? <laughs> yeah, dude, that was a good burn. Burn! burn. <laughs> fat mom, Cody. Okay, guys, I think you've helped me make my decision on what I'm gonna buy. Oh, he's gonna buy the he's PlayStation. He's totally five. gonna get the PlayStation. He's gonna get the PlayStation. Get the PlayStation. PlayStation. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm back. Oh! Dude! He got it! He got the PlayStation! Oh! He got it! He got it! That's my boy! That's my dog right there! That's my. I got a telescope! Isn't it cool, guys? How'd you get the PlayStation 5 box? Oh, well, the guy that sold me the telescope used the money to buy a PS5, and then he let me use the box to carry the telescope. Can we be friends with him instead? Please? Come on, guys, the telescope is so cool. What? No, no, it's not. I mean, look at that, that's carbon fiber. Joseph, how do we kill him? Dude, um, bury him in your backyard, and then get a pool made on top of him. That way, the police can never dig him up. Hey, Cody. Did you hear my dad's getting a pool installed in my backyard? Oh, that, that that's cool. I, I mean, I can't swim, but that, that could be fun. You, you guys want to come outside and play with my telescope? Cody, why would you buy a telescope and not a PlayStation 5? Because the PlayStation 5 just didn't really sound that cool to me. It didn't sound cool? Fun didn't sound cool to you? Video games didn't sound cool to you? Having a better life than have owning a telescope didn't sound cool to you? Well, owning a telescope just seemed cooler. What, would you, what, do you, what do you think Galileo would do if he had $500 and he could buy a telescope or a PlayStation? He probably would buy a telescope. Well then Galileo's lame, just like you! Guys, are you gonna come outside and look at stars with me or not? <sighs> I mean, I guess we have nothing better to do unless we want to look at the PlayStation box. Dude, which... it better be cooler than the PlayStation. Looking at the PlayStation box looks cooler so far. Alright guys, are you ready to look at stars? <laughs> cool! Oh, look at that. Oh, <gasps> boring! This is so boring, we could be playing a PlayStation right now. I know, dude! Guys, look, I can see Orion's belt! And then under that, I can see Orion's dog. <laughs> Orion was packing. <laughs> Guys, what are you doing? Oh, hey, Jeffy, we're just playing with a telescope. What are you doing? Well, I'm picking my nose. See this awesome booger I just got? Well, that's a big booger. Mm-hmm. All right, does anyone else want to take a look? Uh, yeah, I'll look, I guess. <sighs> this is so boring. All I see is stars. What, Cody, what planet is green? Green? I don't think any of them are green. I'm looking at a green planet right now. Really? Let me see. Oh, my God, what is that? Oh, dude, I want to see. Dude, it is green! Is it a planet? Wait, guys, did we just discover a new planet? We? No, I just discovered a new planet. I'm the one that saw it first. But, but it's my telescope. We wouldn't have even seen it if I hadn't gotten the telescope. But I saw it first, so I just discovered a green planet. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Calm down. Let's call NASA, and they'll tell us if it even is a new planet. Yeah, let's go call NASA. Hey there, you call NASA? Oh, you guys got a PS5? Sweet! No, it's just the box. Wh why? What happened? He had $500 to buy a PS5, but he bought a telescope instead. Ugh, nerd. I work for NASA and I wouldn't have bought a telescope. Right? But anyway, I was using his dumb, stupid telescope and I discovered a new planet. There's no way. We've been looking for years. We know there's no new planets in our solar system. But we actually found a new planet, though. No, I found a new planet, not we. W with my telescope? No, but I saw it with my eyes. I don't even know why you bought a telescope. You have two telescopes on your face. Okay, okay, okay. Let's just go outside and look at this new planet. Yeah, come on, look. I'll show you. All right, so if you just look inside there, you'll see a green planet. Okay. Huh. What? Wait a minute. What is that? Well, well, it's round and it's green, so that looks like a new planet to me. So I discovered a new planet? Oh my god, I think you boys actually might have discovered a new planet. I discovered a new planet. I gotta go alert the news. Well, tell them it was me. I discovered it. Breaking news, okay? 
three young boys have discovered a new planet in our solar system. More on this story as it develops. Three? Boys? I'm a man. I'm not much of one, but I am one. No, not three. One. One kid discovered it, and I was the kid that discovered it. <laughs> Guys, I'm the guy in the group project that gets an A for doing nothing. <laughs> yeah, why'd they acknowledge Joseph? He didn't do anything. Junior, you just have to accept that you didn't discover it. I did discover it. I saw it with my eye. You were eye-banging your telescope for 30 minutes, and you didn't see it until I looked at the telescope, and I saw the planet myself. Well, you saw it with my telescope that I bought. Well, I would have saw it even if I didn't use your stupid telescope. Really? You could see it without a telescope? Yeah, if I would have just looked up and saw it, I would have saw it. Well, then why haven't you seen it before? Because I've never looked up. Well, you've never looked up ever? Nope, I've never looked up. So you've never seen the moon? What's that? What, Junior. What? There's someone at the door. Hold on. Uh, hello? Hey there, I need to talk to you kids. Oh, uh, yeah, sure, come on inside. Ugh. Hey there, kids. So what's up? The International Space Station. That's what's up, because it's up in space. <laughs> that's, that's a little NASA joke for you. You wouldn't get it. You gotta be a part of NASA to understand. Anyway, I brought you guys this certificate so you can name your new planet, because you all discovered a new planet. No, I discovered a new planet. Junior, he said we. We all did. But I saw it first with my eyeball. Well, you saw it on my telescope. Well, you see, that's actually the weird thing, is that we can't actually find the new planet on any other telescopes but yours. You hear that, Junior? Well, you can only find it on my telescope. But I'm the one who saw it with my eyeball, so maybe I made it appear with my eyeball. But we found it with my telescope, and that's the only one. Oh, uh, let me ask him. Hey, NASA guy, so listen. I saw the planet first with my eyeball. He bought the telescope, but I saw the planet first. So who owns the planet? Hmm. Hmm. I don't care. I, I really don't care. I just need you guys to fill this out, name your new planet, and then name who the owner is. I'll be by later to pick up the paper. So what am I gonna name the new planet? No, Junior, I'm naming the planet. No, I'm naming it because I discovered it. What would you even name it, Cody? I would name it Planet Hunkulon, and all of the hunkiest guys in the galaxy would get to live there. That's so lame, Cody. Well, what would you name it? I would name it Guacamole. But guacamole? You can't name a planet Guacamole, it's already a food. But the planet's green like Guacamole, and then at dinner parties, people would be like, can you pass me the Guacamole? And they're like, yeah, hold on. Oh, it's all the way in space, I have to go get it. You wanna name an entire planet guacamole just so people can make jokes at dinner parties? Yeah, and the kids would be like, Dad, where's guacamole from? Oh, it's from the planet guacamole. I agree with Junior, it is a good name. Thanks, Joseph. Well, oh, okay, okay, how about we let Joseph decide? What, me? Him, he didn't do shh anything. Yeah, exactly, he's not involved, so he doesn't have an opinion one way or the other. We should let him decide. <sighs> what would you name the planet, Joseph? Ooh, if I could name it, I would probably name it Planet uh, finish! <laughs> okay, that sucks. Joseph can't name the planet. Yeah, that's so lame. So you should just let me name it. No, no, I think we should flip a coin for it. All right, um, I'm gonna call heads. Okay. Uh, tails, tails, tails! What? No, you called tails in the air! What, what, no, no, it, it, it's tails, and I called it uh in, in the air, so that means I win because I said tails last. You should have said, said tails before it landed. Okay, you know what, Junior? Screw it. I don't even care anymore. You can name the planet. I don't uh, care. Uh, yes, planet guacamole, here I come! I want my booger back. There, I named it Planet Guacamole. It's so stupid. Hey there, you named the planet? Yeah, I named it Guacamole. Oh, I get it, because it's green. Yeah, wait, you know you're balding on the back of your head, right? Yeah, I know, just give me the thing. All right, here you go. Go make it official. Thanks. So what do we do now that you have your own planet, Junior? Uh, go visit it. Whoa, dude, let's do it. We can't just go visit it, Junior. Why? Because we don't have a rocket ship to get there. Oh, we do, Cody. Oh, yes, we do. What? All right, Cody, bam, there's the rocket ship. Junior, that's not a rocket ship, it's a firework. No, it's a rocket, it's gonna shoot up in space. No, it's gonna go in the air and explode because it's a firework. Well, I'm gonna put it on the non-explode mode. What? Junior, if you wanna see a rocket explode, come over to my house tonight. So who's the first person that wants to go to guacamole? Dude, why don't you go? It's your planet. Well, I'd love to, but I'm not selfish. Yes, you are. Joseph, why don't you go? What, me, dude, go to your planet? Yeah, you could be the first person on guacamole. Dude, I am so honored, I didn't think I would ever would be anything in life. Well, now you are. You'll be the first person on guacamole. You can look at the history books, and they will say, Joseph, his friend from school, is the first person to land on guacamole. My picture in the history books? Your face plastered all over Times Square. Oh. The first kid on guacamole. Dude, I'll do it. Okay, I'll strap you to the firework. I'm going to shoot you off. Okay. All right, Joseph. You're about to be the first person on guacamole. You're a brave astronaut. What are you going to do when you get there? Dip my chips in it. Oh, yeah. uh, dude, this is going to be the best thing ever. I'm going to tell my kids about this. He's not going to be able to tell his kids because he's going to die. Whoa! Hey, wait, watch out.
at your mouth. Well, why would you wish that upon him? Yeah, why would you do that, dude? I'm not wishing it. I'm just saying that's what's gonna happen. So, what, what do you think would have happened if they would have told Nemo if he touched the butt that they would take him? But he, they did tell him that, and he did it anyway, and look what happened. Cody, you're not making any sense. Just get out of here. Just get out of here. All right, Joseph, I'm gonna light you. <sighs> Cody, 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 he's lit, he's lit. He's gonna die. No, he's not. <laughs> And he's dead. But did he make it? No, he didn't make it. Well, yeah, yeah, he made like a landing sound. Come, come on, come on, come on. All right, Cody, let's see if Joseph's on guacamole. He's not because he died. What? Cody! What? Guacamole's missing. What do you mean? Look! Junior, where'd it go? Well, I don't know. Do you think we blew up guacamole with our firework? No, Junior, it's a firework. There's no way it could have gone high enough. Oh, oh, do you think aliens destroyed guacamole? Well, I don't know, Junior. Let's just call NASA. Well, let's call NASA. Hey, guys, what's up? The stars. I don't get it. Well, anyway, my planet's missing! Wait, really? Yeah, we were trying to send my friend to my new planet. On a firework. And, and we think that we might have accidentally blown up my planet with a firework, or aliens destroyed it. But show me! Look, 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 look! Oh my god, it's missing! Yeah, I know! What do you think happened to it? I, I don't know, did you move the telescope? No, we didn't move it. Do you think aliens destroyed the planet? <sighs> Those dang aliens! I gotta alert the news! <laughs> news, okay? The newly discovered planet, Guacamole, has been assumed to be destroyed by aliens. The world has yet to decide the punishment for this act. So, kid, what do you want to do? Your planet's gone. I want revenge on those stupid, dumb, ugly aliens. Because my friend Joseph died a hero. He died trying to go land on Guacamole. So I want revenge on the aliens, and I want to nuke them. I want you guys to send a hundred nukes in every direction in space until we hit those aliens. Okay. Uh, we don't really know where the aliens are. And so that's why I want you to shoot nukes everywhere. Make the biggest nuke in the world and nuke all of outer space. Okay, I'm gonna have to confess something here. Uh, it was a booger. What? Your planet. It, it was a booger. A, a booger? Yeah, it was a booger on the lens of the telescope. It was not a planet. Uh, what are you talking about? I'm saying that somebody picked their nose and wiped it on your telescope and you thought it was a planet, but it was just a booger. How long did you know this? Oh, I knew as soon as I saw it, but, you know, I thought, you know, it'd be funny to just kind of play along and, you know, you, you thought you made some kind of big scientific discovery, so I thought it'd be kind of funny to tell you you discovered a planet, but then, then you strapped your friend to a rocket and he's dead now, so now I'm kind of worried about the repercussions that might have for me and my career. So, I'm telling you this because I think we should all just pretend this never happened and then just tell everyone that aliens did it. Okay. Now that you think about it, Joseph didn't even really need to go on a rocket. He could have just flown up because he had wings. 